Hello all. In this video, I'll introduce division. Before you start, make sure you know your times tables and you can subtract two digit numbers. If you can do that and you're ready, let's get started. Let's look at this one first. 8 divided by 2. The first thing you want to do is find out how many more digits are in the dividend compared to the divisor. In this case, one digit and one digit, so there are zero more digits. We have to set up the dividend. We always start at the hundredth speed. This is the ones, the tenth, and the hundredth. Now since there are zero more digits in the dividend, we don't move. We stay right here and set up the dividend, 8. Now I'm going to look for a number that 2 can go into. And there it is. 2 goes into 8 four times. So in this very next column, I'm going to write that 4. Now we subtract. 4 times 2 is 8. Everything's 0 and we're finished. 2 goes into 8 4 times. Let's do some more examples. How many times does 3 go into 9? Start on the hundredth. There are 0 more digits in the dividend, so we don't move. We set up the dividend right here, 9. Find two columns with the number that 3 goes into. 3 goes into 9. How many times? 3 times. Now we multiply 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. We're zeroed out and finished. 9 divided by 3 is 3. About 24 divided by 4. Start on the hundredth. The dividend has two digits. The divisor has one digit. So there's one more digit in the dividend. And we go one u unit to the left. We're going to set up our dividend right here, 24. We're going to find two numbers that 4 goes into. Here we are, 24. 4 goes into 24 6 times. Now we multiply. 6 times 4 is 24. And we're finished. And 24 divided by 4 is 6. What is 45 divided by 5? Start on the hundredth. The dividend has two digits. The divisor has one. So there's one more digit in the dividend. So we go one space to the left and set up our dividend. 45. Find a number that 5 goes into. Here we go. 5 goes into 45 9 times. Now we subtract 9 times 5, 45. And 45 divided by 5 is 9. How about 54 divided by 9? Start on the hundredths. There's one more digit here, so we move 1 to the left. 54. Find two columns with the number 9 goes into. Here we go. 9 goes into 54 6 times. Now we multiply. 6 times 9 is 54. And 54 divided by 9 is 6.
one more like this. Start on the hundreds. There's one more digit in the dividend, one space to the left, and set up our dividend, 49. Find two columns with the number seven goes into. It's here. Seven goes into 49, seven times. Now we multiply seven times seven, 49. And 49 divided by seven is seven. Those were easy. We know our times tables, so those were no problem. But let's look at something different now. What is 420 divided by 6? This is why we place our numbers the way we do. Start on the hundredths. There's two more digits in the dividend. 1, 2. And now we set up our dividend. 420. Let's find two numbers that 6 goes into. Here we go, 42. 6 goes into 42 seven times. And we multiply, 7 times 6, 42. We're finished, all zeroed out. We've got a 7 in the tens place and a 0 in the ones place. So 42 over 6 is 70. Three twenty over eight. Start on the hundredth. There's two more digits in the dividend. Three digits versus one digit, so there's two more. One, two. And we set up our dividend. Three, two. Find two numbers eight goes into. Here we go. Eight times four. And we multiply. Four times eight. Thirty two. Four in the tens. 0 in the 1's, so our quotient is 40. Three thousand five hundred divided by 5. Start at the hundredths. There's three more digits in the dividend. 1, 2, 3. Set up our dividend, 35. Two numbers that 5 goes into, here, 7 times. Now we multiply. 7 times 5 is 35. 7 in the hundredths place now, so our quotient 700. Sixteen thousand divided by 2. 5 digits versus 1 digit, so there's 4 more digits in the dividend. One, two, three, four. Set up our dividend. Find two numbers that two goes into. Right, not yet. Here we go. Eight times. Eight times two is 16. And our quotient, 8,000.